Hey everybody, Michelle here with iBailey Technology Consulting and today I'm going to show you how to add a memo or a note to a vendor record. Uh, the memo functionality is available throughout Sage 100 and is identified with the cute little notepad that sits right next to your header record. I think they're actually called steno pads, but we'll call it a notepad. When you access a record such as vendor maintenance, customer maintenance, invoice data entry, receipt of goods, purchase order, etc., you may see the little memo pad. If the memo pad is yellow, it means that there is a memo attached to the record. If the memo pad is white, it means there's no memo attached to the record. You may be asking yourselves, Michelle, how on earth am I supposed to remember to check that little memo pad to see if it's yellow if there's an important note? Well, the good news is we can make that memo pad um, and the memo, I guess, that's attached to it mandatory so that it auto pops up every time um, the vendor is accessed, whether that be vendor maintenance or invoice data entry, purchase orders, etc. So um, we will create a new memo for this vendor, Airway Lamps. Here you can see I have an existing memo, but let's say that we also have um, that was a rental agreement, so let's say that we have a price increase that we don't want to forget about coming up um, on January 1st. Now, I can determine whether this price increase will show up all the time, no matter what. I'm always going to have it pop up until um, the, the memo expires, which maybe is going to be January 31st of 20, oops, it looks like this, we're working in 2020 already, so maybe this expires uh, March 31st of 2020. Now, if I don't have this set to always, and I have it set to reminder date, I can choose my reminder start date and end date, and then my memo will only pop up during those dates. However, we're gonna go ahead and select always, and say don't um, forget to use Visual Integrator to import the new price list. Contact the vendor ASAP. Okay, so this we want to show up all the time. Oops. Okay, so there is my vendor, and as you see here, I can add an attachment. So if I already have the price increase, I just don't wanna to use it yet, I can actually attach the Excel spreadsheet or whatever it was that was here. Now, coming up to my settings, I can choose where this memo is going to auto display. So if it makes sense to have a display in everything, great. Maybe it doesn't make sense to have a display um, in repetitive invoice entry and um, AP to AR clearing. But everywhere else I want it to show up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. Save that record. Now, if I close out of that and come back into Airway, we're going to see that note that we made auto pop up. And I can always come in here and see the other notes that may not auto populate. But the great thing is if I come into invoice data entry and I create an invoice for Airway properties, I am also going to see that pop up. So now I know, okay, um, on March 1st of 2020, um, we've got that price increase. And so if it's March 3rd and I'm still seeing this message, um, maybe the prices that I'm, I'm paying are not accurate or something along those lines. So again, anywhere that you see the little memo code, white or yellow, go ahead and click on it, add a memo, play around with the settings, and see what you can do. You never know. As always, if you need any help, feel free to reach out. We are always here 